you will have heard of pragmatic language impairment, or you may have heard of somatic pragmatic disorder or social communication disorder. All of these labels essentially refer to children who are having difficulties using language in context. Context is important because most of what we say is ambiguous and sometimes what we intend to say isn't explicitly stated. So I'll give you some examples. Many words in the English language have more than one meaning. For example, if I say mouse, you might think of a furry little animal. However, the more technologically inclined of you may think of a computer mouse. And we need context to disambiguate what we mean when we're using that word. Sentences can also be ambiguous. So if you think of the sentence, the fish is ready to eat, we may think of a fish on a plate that we're going to consume. However, you might think of a fish ordering something in a restaurant. Now, often kids can make mistakes in understanding language and context, and we might think it's quite funny, but for the child with pragmatic language impairment, they might find this quite stressful because people are laughing and they don't understand why. They might think people are laughing at them. We often don't explicitly state what we mean. So for example, I might say, Time to go to the shops, remember it's wet outside. But what I'm actually meaning to say is, it's time to go to the shops, we are going outside. It's still raining, you need to get ready. That means put on a waterproof jacket and your Wellington boots. Now many children with language impairments won't make all of these connections. However, there seems to be a group of children who seem to have okay language in other domains. For example, their speech or their grammar might seem relatively unimpaired but nevertheless they have problems with pragmatics. Descriptions of pragmatic language impairment have included um, children who are actually talking quite a lot but might have difficulty understanding what people are saying, particularly in context. They might take things very literally, they might make unusual word choices and particularly have a lot of difficulties with conversation and maintaining a topic of conversation. Now, pragmatic language impairment is very difficult to diagnose because using context usually means two people talking to one another, and therefore it's difficult to measure pragmatic difficulties in a standardised way. The best measures that we have usually ask teachers and parents to rate how the child is communicating in everyday contexts. There's very large controversy about whether children with pragmatic language impairments form their own diagnostic category or whether these children should receive a diagnosis of autism or maybe even specific language impairment. And the answer to that really depends on how we define and diagnose those other disorders. But the main message is that many children can have problems using language in context. We're now developing interventions that can help support these children and it's important that we continue to do this so that children can learn to communicate appropriately and to develop friendships with their peers.